Good evening. It is a profound privilege and with great pride that I welcome President Zelensky to the capital of the United States. Here we are today to welcome the brave, courageous President Zelensky in order to praise not only him, but the courageous, unified people of Ukraine for what they are doing to protect democracy. Over the last 10 months since the invasion, you, Mr. President, and the Ukrainian people have met Putin's brutality with a strong will. Your visit comes as the Congress prepares to again uh, pass another consequential round of security, economic, and humanitarian assistance within the next 48 hours. Hopefully, this will be done. And I want to applaud President, President Biden's plans to deliver a Patriot air defense system, uh, additional HIMARS, and other vital military equipment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great privilege. And really, I prepared speech to Congress, but I think I think speech to Americans. That is great honor for me, and I want and I want to give all the messages that I prepared in your language, with all respect to your country, for that support that you done for Ukraine in our battle, really battle for our freedom, democracy, as Speaker Pelosi said, but for our houses, families, for our great children, the same great as you have, of course. And for me, again, honest that I'm here. I'm the second time here, but the first time was before the war, right. before yeah. full-scale invasion by Russians. And you know, what can I say? Different, different feeling, like different history, like different life. But anyway, in this life is very important. The Congress of the United States is a big friend of. Ukraine, Ukrainian people, really, of freedom, freedom of, of, of Ukrainians. And thank you so much that you supported us in financial support and with the, really the things, that ammunition which will help on battlefield. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Great honor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.